The novel therapy approaches in the pipeline, I think, come in two forms. So one is taking drugs that we already have in terms of novel agents and combining them. Um, so combining ibrutinib um, and venetoclax with or without obinutizumab, calibrutinib, venetoclax with or without obinutizumab. So that's one kind of flavor of the new therapies coming forward. And then we also have a lot of actually just new mechanisms and new drugs that are very much earlier on in development that are also really interesting. Um, so I think the reversible BTK inhibitors are very interesting. Um, those are drugs that were initially primarily designed to work when um, Cialis cells had acquired mutations that make them resistant to the covalent BTK inhibitors, ibrutinib, calibrinib, and xanabrutinib. Um, these drugs, the ones that are um, have been have had efficacy data presented, include the stenesis molecule, the loxo molecule, which will be presented at this meeting, and the um, arcule molecule. And I think all of those and that that kind of approach of using a reversible BTK inhibitor is very interesting. Um, there is kind of even newer targets, things like BRD4 inhibitors, um, export and one inhibitors, um, and novel antibodies and antibody combinations that are also very interesting.